Kadra Farah is a public health major at the University of Arizona who wants to become a clinical epidemiologist. But her mind these days is on Donald Trump. I didn't go to class on Wednesday. I was still in denial and in shock. I had a melt and meltdown um, the night before when I found out the election results. In the hours that followed, Kadra Farah had an idea. She would become the organizer of an anti-Trump rally. I decided I would create a Facebook event and see a public Facebook event and whoever wanted to come were more than welcome. Are we going to do it like red, white, and blue? She brought together other students she knew who felt the same as she did. They made posters and signs at a local art gallery. They discussed strategy, coordinated with city and university police. Initially, a handful of people replied on Facebook they would come. Within a few days, the number climbed to over 1,300. I'm very anxious. I have, I'm the first speaker. I'm a very social butterfly. You can ask anyone that knows me. But when it comes to a crowd, I have very bad stage fright. There are a lot of smiles and plenty of laughter here. But it all belies the anger. These are the six other people who have been leading the organizational effort with Kadra Farah. Just because, you know, the blanket or the rug was ripped off and, you know, all this hate is out there and it might be more blatant than it's usually been. This is a reminder that we have to keep fighting. Do any of you see anything good about Donald Trump? The only thing good out of this election, him being our president-elect, um, is that it's really um, forcing people to come together, um, especially marginalized people, and form solidarity. These students have seen images of the other anti-Trump protests around the country and are aware of what's being said about them. One of the things Donald Trump tweeted recently about demonstrators was that they were, quote, professional protesters. Are any of you professionals? No, no. sir. We have more to do in the morning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> any of you getting paid anything to do this? No. no. I mean, he said during some of his rallies that people get paid $1,500 to I wish. disrupt his rallies. But are any of you, are, have any of you heard, have any of you heard from anybody above you who was getting paid to bring you to the rally? No. 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 Everyone, yes. one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> These students say they know nothing will change the results of this election, but think as long as everything stays calm, their rally will accomplish something by allowing their voices to be heard. I would say the hardest thing about setting this up is the possibility that it could go left. The possibility that there would be disturbers, um, agitators, people who aren't happy that this is happening. Um, you mean Trump supporters? Trump supporters. And non-Trump supporters. And non-Trump supporters.